What's up guys, H2O Big Reese here, bringing you another edition of the Road to Oblivion Walker. Today we are going for the Ring of Namira. It's a very interesting ring, it allows you to get be uh, benefits from feasting on dead corpses. Yeah, uh, I don't even <laughs> know. But uh, what we have to do to get the near Ring of Namira is back in... Markarth, we are going to go visit the Hall of the Dead. So I will see you guys. I'm not going to load into Markarth. I'm just going to go ahead and meet you guys in um, the uh, the hall, uh, right outside the Hall of the Dead. I'll see you guys there. Alrighty, guys, we are here inside of Understow Keep, and this is the guy we have to talk to, Brother Valerius. Why can't we enter the uh, Hall of the Dead? You just got to talk to him. I could help. But uh, here we go. He gives us the key. He tells us that the bodies have been eaten. So what we're going to do now is we are going to run over here to the Hall of the Dead. Because we don't know what's in there. And we will meet on the inside. All right, we're inside the Hall of the Dead. All we have to do is to is just walk in here. We get this creepy voice of a lady talking to us. Uh, mouth grows wet at the dead. Um, yeah, apparently she thinks I'm a cannibal. Let's steal from the coffin. Alrighty, and now we will have Aola up here. Her name is Aola. One of these directions. There she is. And just skip through the uh, through the uh, voice talking and everything yet again. All right. She tells us that her home which is the um, Shrine to Namira. I love trying to pickpocket her, see what she's got. Ooh, a gold diamond ring. Uh, Ruby. Nah, not feeling it. But we meet her at Reachcliff Clave. Now we have to go tell Valerius that the hall is safe, and then we will meet at Reachcliff Clave, so. Alrighty, outside the Hall of Dead, here's Valerius. Hall that is safe. Take his amulet as the award. And now let's go clear out Reachcliff Cave. So I will see you guys there. Um, just so you know, on the map, it's right down here. Easiest way, travel to Carspire and run down here. So I will meet you just outside of Reachcliff Cave. Alrighty guys, we are just outside of Reachcliff Cave here. Aeola is going to meet us out front. We got to do a little bit of a dialogue with her. And uh, either way, you can wait here or you could use a hand. Personally, I uh, like taking her with me anyway, just because it's nice to have an extra hand, especially when I don't hire or bring any house carls with me. So I'll see you inside Reachcliff Cave. Alrighty, so now we are in Reachcliff Cave. All we have to do is start taking this out. I'm going to use the bow the entire time for this. Uh, I originally wanted this character to be 100% a bow character, but... Oh, well. Oh, come on. What the hell? Are, are, are my uh, arrows going right through you, buddy? What a glitch. What the hell just happened? <laughs> I know I got fussed, but I mean, like, what the hell? Come on, Death Lord. There we go. That's better. I don't know. I was not missing, so I don't know what the hell just happened there. But, oh well. That one I missed, though, the first time. Let me see. Where, where the hell did, did... Did I miss that first guy? That was embarrassing. I do take the ebony bows, though, because those are worth some good money. 
and I could care less about everything else. Running through. See, this is the downside to being a higher level character. It's nothing but a bunch of death lords and everything that they always try to kick your ass. But, oh well. Scourges, though. Pretty simple. But maybe miss. Good thing I got a shit ton of Dejic Arrows. Alrighty. Okay. There we go, there's one. The other guy is gonna go that way. Uh, just letting you know, there is a trap here, so watch your ass if you search in that. Personally, I'm not gonna search it. And I'm gonna avoid Aeola. Eh, fuck it. I gotta, I gotta kill all the Draugr anyway. Woman. You need to hurry the fuck up. No. Okay. Shrine of Namira. Just further ahead. There we go. And there's a few Dragger Death Lords in here for me, but no big deal otherwise. See, that's why you gotta be close with those Fusro Dolls, because they will blow you the fuck away. I look like a badass standing up, though. What the hell? I'm not holding the trigger, letting you guys know. That was weird. Dragger Death Overlord. Come at me, bro. You ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. Take my garnet. My other shit. My danger arrows from everybody. Alrighty, let's speak to Aeola, who is hiding on the other side of this door for some reason. Come on, woman. Thank you. Let's try his ours. We need to prepare a feast. Go get a fresh kill. Brother Valerius. So go get Brother Valerius. What the hell? How'd you come back? That was bullshit, and you know it. The fuck? And it's glitched out again. God damn it. Who are you and why are you still alive? Bastard. Alrighty, let's go this way. Go get Brother Revelarius. Now, even with 100 speechcraft... Hold on, I'll pick it up on this one. As I was saying, uh, even with 100 speechcraft, like I have... Persuasion and Intimidation will not work on Brother Valerius. You have to give him the money. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to travel back to Markarth and go pick up Brother Valerius. All right, we're inside the Hall of the Dead again in Markarth, and Brother Valerius stays in here, so just so you know, he's always going to be here up at the Shrine of Arche. Talk to him. I need a priest. Arche's protection. Duties keep me busy. See, look, if you try to persuade... Like, alright, yeah, uh, if you try to intimidate him, he, it's still nothing. And I have 100 speechcraft, so you got to pay him the gold. And there we are. And I got an achievement for that. I guess I haven't done everything. But, um, yeah, now we have to go back to the Shrine of Namira, so I will pick it up there. Alrighty, we are just outside of the secret entrance, so we are going to go ahead in here. And we're taking uh, Valerius with us. Right now, he's our follower. But I'll show you a little tip in a minute to get your money back if you want to get all that money back. Alright, coming back in here to the Shrine of Namira. Now, up here there is a way also to fail the quest. If you get uh, Valerius on the table and you just refuse to kill him, um, it will cause all these guys to start fighting you and you fail the Daedric quest. 
Uh, if you've seen Toby Turner actually do this, uh, Tobuscus, he's the only person I know that would purposefully fail a Daedric quest, and it was just like facepalm when I saw him kill everyone here. So let's go ahead in here. There's no dialogue part for me. You get all these people here. And, uh, who are you? Priest of Arcae, I'm your friend. They have this, uh, she's, like, mind-controlling him at the same time. It's pretty obvious from the subtitles or the audio that you can't hear right now. So, there is the shrine. It looks badass as hell. Just like all other Daedric shrines. Alright, so she he's needs to lay down. Feast is about to begin, so we br uh, come over here. Follow Valerius. Doesn't work just yet, but um, he's gonna lay down here on this totally badass shrine, which I wish I could have used this to kill him. But uh, he is now laying on the shrine. We can pickpocket him, or not? Maybe not. Okay, it's not uh, not letting me. But uh, we go ahead and we kill Valerius. And we search him. Alright, well, first we have to uh, eat him. So, now that we've killed him, we eat. And Amira talks to us. And I have a ragdoll in my hands that I can't do anything about. And I can't skip through. And Amira's like, thank you for restoring the temple and eating this bastard. And she gives you her ring. Use it when you feast on the de uh, flesh of the dead, and you will grant the power. And I'm annoyed by this ragdoll I have in my hands that I can't do anything about. And there we are. We are now the champion of Namira as well, and we have gotten Namira's ring. So, there we are, guys. We can search Valerius, there's our money back. You can take a couple other things from him, but I mean, it's really nothing impressive. The Staff of Frostbite is pretty good, but that's about it. There we go, we're happy, she's happy. Champion Amira. And we have officially gotten the Ring of Namira. There you are, guys. This concludes another episode of The Road to Oblivion Walker. I will see you guys in the next one, and have a good day.